Hi. Good morning. So, uh, part of me just woke up. It's like four forty something or something, and in London, and I'm, today I'm going to do a demonstration. So, uh, for this demonstration, I've got two uh, blangana, <laughs> two containers of water here. Um, it's a model of um, resourcing model, and I've, you you just have your sink. So there's there's the sink. And, uh, sorry if I'm not speaking loud enough, it's, it's just that everyone's sleeping, so, um, <clears throat> you need a sink, and then you need, um, I'm going to take a couple bottles, so these are water bottles that we have salvaged, <laughs> um, meaning that we've kept them and cleaned them up to use them for other purposes, although they were intended initially for something else, so I've got two here. Now something to note is that I haven't, I'm doing this on the fly, I'm making it up as we go, but oh, but it's like there's a thing in my head that that needs to come out, so this is the first time I've ever done this, I've never done this before, in like physically, but um, just like Eminem said, you've only got one shot, and that's like the practice, so and then you need a funnel. Um, to Well, I have a funnel. <laughs> to do this demonstration. You can try this at home. It's safe. Um, okay, so resourcing. So you've got, you know, okay, I'm gonna take this thing that's, at the, there's a Tagalog, mumu. There's a mumu. There's a little bit of food particle on one side of the sink. And then there's this other little bit of food particle on the other side of the sink. I think that's um, I mean, it's clean, but then there were food particles that were left just so I could do this demonstration. So there's this other food particle. There are people in our model. This is a model. This is a three-dimensional model. Shout out to Chitra Mografis, um, who introduced me to this concept, <laughs> who reintroduced me to this concept that we all know. Okay, so uh, you're going to see our little people there. There's a little people. And each of them has like an idea, a hope, a dream, a project that they want to try and it needs resources. So each project um, needs a budget for the project. And we're going to give it to Rice Piece over there named Fairy. Fairy has this project idea but doesn't have the resources yet right so this is a huge shout out to the family in Birmingham um Reese Yem uh everyone at the impact hub who introduced me to them and Sam I got the word I got the name fairy just from what was to hand so fairy this is fairy and um fairy needs resources for fairy's project and so I'm going to introduce another really handy Tagalog word, which is sha. S, S Y A. And that is a pronoun. <laughs> there is only that pronoun in Tagalog. Um, and that just means that encapsulates, contains um, he, her, they, them. So I'm just going to, and then you say sha or nya if it's like a possessive program, pro pronoun. Handy, huh? Um, the Galug, the unifying language. So, we're gonna take... Now this is the source bowl, okay? And the source bowl, this is easy AF intro to project resourcing. This is the source bowl, and uh, we're gonna try to get... Uh, we're gonna try to get the source to... Uh, or this resource to... It's water inside. Um, non-toxic, safe, you can do this at home. Unless you have OCD and you don't want things to splash around like I did, but I liberated myself from this. Um, you know what? I'm sorry, it's un undiagnosed, so I just say that kind of offhand. Uh, but I have definitely had 
terror like debilitating freezing moments of not being able to do anything because I was afraid of a mess or of germs or but like I just couldn't but now I can so because I got through my dark night of the soul like last week I'm free to do this experiment safely like my OCD will let me do it now it's not that it's left it's just that it's here so we're going to hi so what we're doing is we're resourcing a, a, a project and this is the bottle um, and this is the resource and this is water and so I'm just gonna try to get resources to that. okay so you, you want to try to let me just I'll bring you here and show you uh, yeah okay all right so that wasn't very efficient was it so now we add um, something to make this a little bit more effective. Um, it wasn't effective either, so look at how much water came in from the source, didn't. Um, we've got our little person down there, fairy. So we're gonna use a funnel. Somebody invents a, a funnel. Oh wait, no, sorry, not yet the funnel, because we've still got somebody else here. Um, over here who has a project idea, so because we have another bottle, a project idea. Um, you can totally pass this on, make this actual proper, because the first time that I'm doing this demonstration, we're trying to resource people who have projects on the ground. So that's them. So this is the other person who has another project, and they need resources too. So we're going to try to fill that in um, from this from this source bowl, of, and then we're going to resource. It. Yeah. Okay. So that can be worked on, right? So. We got some water in. We got a little bit of water in that was somewhat effective at resourcing these people and their project. Um, but it's not very efficient, so we're trying to make it more efficient. We, we're going to use a funnel. So we're going to start with... I mean, I went to this person first in their project, so I'm going to go ahead and check that out. Oh, look at that. They get more source. They get more resource. So I'm going to do this too, so, yeah, there you go. So they get more resource, and we're just going to take this out and put this back over, let it dry. Look, the project has more budget. Yeah, awesome. Project has more budget. Okay, so... So this is the basic idea of resourcing and budgeting. There's a there's a source of um, liquidity because <laughs> that's what in finance and accounting we call liquidity is cash basically. So water is cash. Um, there's a source of liquid liquidity. There's a source of liquid, and then we um, were able to to provide liquid to these projects, which are the ideas of um, these people, right? So our first project proponent was um, Fairy over here, if you recall Fairy. <laughs> and these are their projects, and then they get to just kind of like thrive and flourish. So that's, uh, that's an easy AF introduction to uh, to the concept of liquidity, cash, and resourcing projects, um, and allocating those resources to the ground. But wait, that's only level one. So we've got level two, which is this, this person here doesn't have any resources. They've got, oh, they've got, kind of idea. They're not really connected to the rest of these two folks who didn't, like, they didn't get the memo or they got the memo and they just don't know the, the they don't know the people who have the resources, the liquidity. So they're sitting here with this hope, dream, and aspiration. Um, they've got, like, so there's that, um, and their name is uh, Bologna. Their name is Bologna sitting over here, they've got this dream that they really want to test out and, and grow. 
but they don't have any resource. This, this one, oh, look at that cash balance right there. Look at that liquidity. So in short, hi, it's Joanne. I'm talking about resourcing projects and people. Um, and so these two basically have resources because they know the right people who can have give them access to the source. But this poor little person um, on the ground, uh, Bologna, doesn't, they have a dream. Uh, but they don't have any resources. They don't have cash. So what do we do about this? We try to redistribute. Um, or we try to, here, I need to, so this is empty. We need to fill it back up. So, um, so we have this. We've got to put some in here. Then we've got to put, some, oh yeah, we have some a funnel. Actually, let's say this one's got the funnel because they were able to use their initial liquidity to make a funnel. And then like, oh, oh, we're trying to fill up the other bowl, but you can't. Oh. <laughs> so what do we do? We try to redistribute maybe. So we're going to take, um, so redistribution, let's say this project or person um, wants to give some resource to to that so we could just be like okay i find you you're there you're over there um but then there's someone over here and maybe they have an idea and there's someone over there and maybe they have an idea so let's just kind of like da, 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 da. um this one is just kind of like oh okay i've got an efficient setup and i've got lots of liquidity and actually you know what happened over the years because i was able to accumulate all of this resource and cash because i already knew all the people who had it I've moved to um, to a bigger container, and I've um, employed all these other people and actually crushed them a little bit because they... Yeah. So now you've got a bigger container, take up more people, and... Uh, and they can hold more. Sorry, so I've got another got another bucket here oh look at that it just kind of rains on you because you know more people you have access to more source meanwhile this small medium enterprise i don't know let's just say okay and then this one just kind of gets splashes so i think you get the idea right so you can use this model um to explain uh budgets and resource allocation and all that but if you notice the source there's bigger source, you have to like kind of replenish the source to um, source. Now, that was level two. Oh, level two is also, wait, sorry, these guys are like, oh, we need to make a foundation and um, we need to just believe. So, because you know what? These are people too with hopes and dreams and what these folks, did with this container is you just incorporated a whole bunch of people and put together some shared hopes and dreams and then you know what these guys made it so that uh when i say guys it's just it's shorthand for everyone so these humans um made it so that this person can this person can communicate with that person. Can you communicate with that person? They connected all these people in this invisible field. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a field. And we can call it the internet, um, for example, or like telecommunications or phone line or whatever. And then they were like, all right, let's start a foundation and we're gonna find all those other people because they've got heart, they're people too. Um, and because of the internet, because of phone lines, because of like good old fashioned travel by different ways, they were able to connect to different people around the world. So they were able to give here. Oh, sorry. Here. Oh, like, hey, there you are. We're going to give you some help. Um, but these guys couldn't grow anything because they didn't have a container to catch this. I don't know why they couldn't. We can't figure out why they can't thrive. We keep giving them. We keep giving them some water, um, but you know what? We can't, there, there are some folks we can't see over here and they're not getting water and so on and so forth. So that's level, level, like level two um, for the purposes of this model. 
or three or whatever, but just the next level is that they actually care and they have made it possible for us to actually, for me to um, be talking to you now over space and time, because if you're watching this later, as my adamantium bangs, if you're watching this later, we have cut across the space time continuum. Um, so that's, that's the foundation and it's kind of just floating here. Now I'm going to, I'm going to let anyone who, um, needs to go go because this last part is um, mind-blowing you can stop watching here you can um, take this away already and this will suffice to get conversations going around resourcing but um, we're gonna transcend okay so uh, how are we gonna transcend that's a good question. You've kind of fly by the seat of your pants. So uh, I want to offer this in uh, management accounting. There are three metrics or three uh, sort of aspects other than profit to look at. This is classical, right? This is, um, I learned this at SEMA. Thank you, I'm a SEMA um, AICPA uh, joint venture holder of a chartered global management accountant designation. CGMA. Um, so first of all, um, effectiveness. So if you're not effective at carrying out your mission, um, yeah, <laughs> kind of everything else coming after doesn't really count. Or rather, it's uh, you've kind of didn't answer the exam question. Um, so no marks for that. Um, the second one is efficiency. So with the resources that you had, did you achieve effectiveness? and um, economy, so in order to um, bring in some resources. So like, yeah, one is a supplier for the other, um, and it could be in CAD. Um, they turn cash into like a thing that helps. But anyway, so um, the third is um, effect, uh, economy. So did you get the best value for money for the resources that you used efficiently to achieve your goal? Your your, uh, to be effective at your goals. So I'm going to give you a little snapshot of the world as we have it right now. Um, so nee, 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 our people, their projects, and you know, people can work together. So this is a small team right here. This is an individual who um, uh, is there, and this is a like a lot of people, basically, a lot of resources. And actually, this might be a few people and a lot of things. Um, so things are people too. <laughs> Things are entities, so if you have like one person or let's say a startup team of two people with like a fleet of trucks, like mom and dad, they used to have a construction company before they went into coffee. They had, this is how I know about 16 wheelers, 18 wheelers, um, and they helped build through their company buildings, homes and workplaces in like the Gaitai and some where the volcano erupted earlier this crazy year. Um, so I'm just going to go straight through, through and the, how to, uh, how to transcend is to ask questions. So let's just ask a few questions here. Um, why? What are we doing this all for in the first place? Um, we've got, uh, like nobody told, what is the object, what? So uh, this is a question that every individual involved in an enterprise, I'm calling it an enterprise because it's a, either a business for profit or what we call non-for-profit or what even a household is an enterprise because that's a little team that you've got to, like this, this one here is a household that's got of, of, of individuals with hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Um, so I'm just going to offer this last thing for transcendence because transcendence cannot be explained in words, and this is why I have the model, and I'm going to do it in two stages. So I'm just going to refill, refill this. This Blangana. And... Um, and then I'm just going to kind of like, so here, there you go. So you kind of just, if you let things fall from the source, 
um, naturally to where they need to go, each person gets their share of, <laughs> of, of cash, um, gets their share of source. And so that's natural, <laughs> natural resourcing. Um, but wait, <laughs> there's more because um, we forget that these containers were kind of, we just, why did we invent them in the first place? Because essentially what are, what are these structures? These, in real life, a container is a set of pieces of paper that people exchange with, that fairy has exchanged with other people um, on the ground to create a container <laughs> to determine the best allocation of resources. But it's paper. It's This is a, nothing but a... What is a container but a product of the human mind? What is time? But a concept, of, but a construct of the human. But what is a container? But a construct of the human mind. Oh, a mode. Uh, what is time? Yeah. So, all right. This is a construct of the human mind. So let's just put this aside, and I'm gonna offer you. Um, when we say natural resourcing, let's just take all the. See, look. Oh, that fell. That fell. Oh, and it washed. Come away and there's a drain we'll get into that another day but let's just say they they got stuck use your imagination um like they're still there for the time being um so i don't want to blow your mind too much today but we could just um there's the thing that naturally i guess came um and then we can fill this up again and with the original <laughs> allocation of Scarce, this is scarce, you see, you filled it up, scarce resources, we just, everybody gets their share of the liquidity, see, it's washed all the way around, um, and everybody gets their share of liquidity, um, and then finally, this is what transcendence is, uh, we ask another question, well, where did this scarce resource come from, is, oh, this, there's a natural resource. Oh, no, it's a natural source. Oh, it's the source. So really, what we could do to get liquidity to everyone is to just let it rain. Yeah? And, um, and there you go. And, and everybody's got what they need. And in this model, if you remember, like, obviously, we need things like shelter, um, the needs cards from nonviolent communication. Sorry, my talking is kind of funny because I've got this cold sore here, I think. Um, food, water, air. Food, water, air. So in order to let each of these people, well, fairies gone, as fairies do, because human life is limited. Um, in this model, uh, but everybody's got liquidity everybody's got source energy cash to um to do what they need to do and why is the basic question because it's why why is there a sink why is there moo -moo? why are there people why the answer to that question only you know each person has their own puzzle piece of the why of the whole world um, so that's why it's super important that you ask yourself, Merci, Laure. Um, who am I and what am I here to do? So that is today's uh, demonstration of, um, I guess, practice, easy, AF, intro, home, safe home demonstration of, uh, <laughs> of project resourcing, project resourcing. Um, and then and then transcendence and the meaning of life. <laughs>